What's up guys, it's the bowler here. Like I said, revamp of the channel. And today I'm gonna be talking about my favorite topic in basketball right now. The Russell Westbrook Thunder KD situation. I don't care how many people are gonna tell me, even if I sound retarded after making this video, these are my beliefs. My my beliefs. Anyone could tell me I'm wrong. I don't care. So let's start off. Russell Westbrook should have been MVP of this year, but he wasn't. Steph Curry was. Now, Steph Curry might have broken a lot of records, but overall, most explosive, most best, triple doubles all the time, Russell Westbrook. Michael Jordan compared himself to Russell Westbrook. He said Russell Westbrook is him 30 years ago. Now, if you're not the GOAT then, and the GOAT says you're the GOAT, I don't, I don't know what to say. Now, LeBron might be the best athlete in the NBA, and probably sports right now, but Russell Westbrook is the best player overall. I know no one's going to agree with me. You know, everyone's saying, this is what my topic, this is what I'm surrounding it by. Everyone is saying since KD has left the Thunder, the Thunder are going to be horrible. Russell Westbrook carried the team even when Kevin Durant wasn't even there on injury. And they still made really good seating. And they didn't even have healthy players. Steve Adams wasn't even that good yet. Ibako, he was, I think, out with injuries too. Aladipo wasn't there. We're going to see how good he is this year. So many different things. And his cancer wasn't there. Now we have a whole team. Or not me. Thunder are not my favorite team. But the Thunder have way better possibilities. Now that you're thinking, it's like, oh, KD is the centerpiece. That's holding together. He's the team. He is not. He might have gone to Golden State. Golden State made a super team. That's going to be hard to come by in the finals for any team. But you have to wonder, like, why Russell Westbrook stayed also in Thunder. You also have to think about that. He stayed because he knows he's the best and he can win a ring by himself. He doesn't need anyone to tell him anything. He's going to show the world he is the best player this year. I will doubt you not. He will get MVP. He will make it very high into the, in the final or very high into the playoffs this next year. Now, it is off season. We saw a while ago until October, end of October, whenever it starts up again. I keep forgetting about that day. But yeah, another thing. Russell Westbrook, he has always been better than Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant has a bigger name on him, though. It's Kevin Durant. Russell Westbrook is the most overlooked player, second most overlooked player in the NBA right now. Number one, Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard is the best person. He dropped 50 points so many times after not being in the All-Star game to show everyone he's good enough, and still nobody believes him. Now, that doesn't make any sense. James Harden. He should have been on the all NBA All Team this year. He wasn't. He averaged so many points a game, carries his team, so many rebounds a game. He averages so good, over seven rebounds a game as a guard, and he's not in the NBA All Team. I don't know how that's not even taken into consideration of how and why not. But back to the Thunder thing and the Warriors and Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant should not talk about that. Russell Westbrook should talk about it. Russell Westbrook is still on the Thunder. If it was Kevin Durant talking about Russell or why he left the Thunder or anything like that, he should not talk about it. It's a bad mistake because KD, we all know KD, he's going to win something with the Warriors and win a ring or something, he's going to ditch them. We all know that's going to happen. So to be honest, I could really care less about KD. And I bet you anything with the chemistry on the Warriors, I bet they won't even do that good. Now, Klay Thompson, he's not giving up anything. I don't see Steph Curry giving up anything. I don't think Draymond's going to give up anything. I think KD is just going to be left in the dark. I honestly believe that. And even though Steve Kerr is an amazing coach, I really do not think Steve Kerr can manage that many superstars on one team and get them all as much as they had before. KD coming into the mix for the Warriors this year? No, I don't see it good. I cannot see them all working together, getting enough points as they want, having an NBA team. It's like having the Heat. They didn't have they had three amazing players all on their team at once. 
but you saw Chris Bosh fell through him, Dwayne Wade with injuries, and Jay- and LeBron James carrying the team. You saw the same thing with with I'm blanking, I'm blanking with the Cavs. Chemistry was horrible. Kevin Love, one of the best big man power forwards in the league, now dropping to really bad. He's horrible. He's Kyrie Irving. Now he's still an amazing point guard, but the chemistry with LeBron and Kevin Love and the rest of the team was horrible until they got their new coach. He took it all in. He put them and told them what he needs to get done, and they got it done. That's why the Cavs won the championship. Now, I'm just going off so many topics right now, getting in to my first video. But yes, guys, that is going to be the video. We are at five minutes, about to be six. And let me know, guys, what y'all think about this revamp of the channel. I can talk about whatever y'all want. And I'll see y'all. Wait, first, I won't see y'all yet. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.